The International Press Center, IPC Nigeria, has joined the global community to raise concerns about press freedom violations, stressing the need for stakeholders' collaboration to safeguard its freedom. The IPC, which made the call in a statement by its communications officer, Olutoyi Ayode, to mark the 2022 World Press Freedom Day, urged the federal government to respect its commitment and uphold the right to freedom of expression as enshrined in Article 19 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights and the African Charter on Peoples and Human Rights. The organization stated that since 2020, it had identified over 100 journalists and other media professionals who had been victims of surveillance, spying, harassment, threats, violence, assaults, battery, unlawful arrests, jailing, kidnappings, and suspected murder. We are now being joined by NUJ Chairman, Lagos Chapter, Adeleye Ajayi. Glad to have you, Mr. Ajayi. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you. Now, let's evaluate press freedom, especially here in Nigeria. Can we say that we are there yet? Well, the press freedom in Nigeria is not totally free. And uh, we are not yet there. It's not yet Uhuru when we talk about press freedom in Nigeria. Um, you know, the function of the press is to inform, entertain, and educate. But there are some uh, factors impeding the activities of the, the media in Nigeria. And until these factors are addressed by both the government and even the private sector owners of uh, media establishments, it is not yet to Uhuru. What are these well, factors? What, what? I what, what are these factors you said uh, have not yet been addressed? Well, this is, it has to do with uh, you know, the, the hazards of the job. The owners must ensure that journalists are well protected. Safety of journalists is very, very paramount. And then there is this ability to allow journalists free hand, to give them free hand in line with the code of ethics. The ownership influence is also one of the factors affecting the performance of journalists. And apart from that, harassment, as you mentioned in the news report, harassment, assassinations, and uh, so on and so forth, are some of the factors also impeding the activities of the press. And you know a lot of the impunities, there are impunities against the, the, against the press. A lot of media men have been, in the last 10 years or 15 years, have been either assassinated, maimed, or harassed. And uh, the perpetrators of all these dastard acts should be brought to, almost be brought to book. So until all these issues are addressed, the, the cannot be, we cannot say there is total press freedom in Nigeria. Okay, when you, say, we, when you say ownership interest hinders press freedom, uh, what do you mean by that? No, what I mean is the ownership, the, you know, he who pays the piper in journalism the, or in, in, in every balance, he who pays the piper dictates the tune. The owners, the, every, uh, every media establishment has its own style book, its own art style. And uh, it is what the owner wants you to write. So that's subjectivity in journalism. Journalists should be allowed to be given free hand to operate. Whether you are editor or reporter, you should be given free hand to operate. It should not be sub subjective. You should, you should be objective in your report, factual, factual reporting. But these days, you draw it. It's what you now want you to write, that you write, whether government, establishment, or the private sector. So all these are uh, ways of gagging the, the, the press. The press should be given free hand to okay. operate. What do you think and the then, government you know, can do? Yeah, what can the government do to defend the media from, uh, first of all, this... The, I mean, How can the government make things better? Well, it's just to give the press free hand and then to protect the safety in defense. And you are talking about kidnapping, um, har harassment, you know. You discover that, uh, for instance, recently or in the last, in last year, it was a, it was a battle between the MPO, that is Nigerian, Nigerian uh, Newspaper Press and Central Nigeria, Nigerian Union of Journalists, and Nigerian Guild of Editors against, the, against two bills, two, two bills that are, that stayed into the National Assembly for Amendment, the Nigerian Press Council Bill and the National Broadcasting Commission Bill. We, the, those two bills have been suspended, for, amendment bills have been suspended for now, but until government 
listens to the media or the government allows the media free hand to operate, then we can't say we have total press freedom in Nigeria. But there are journalists that have lost their lives, you know, in the exercise of their profession. How best? How best can they be immortalized? Well, well you will recall that uh, Chris Imodibe, the late Chris Imodibe, Taya Utusi, were victims of the Liberian War. And champion then, when champion was vibrant, they named the library after Taya Utusi. They named it Taya Utusi Library. And I think uh, the champion is, uh, the, I don't know, champion is, is trying to re recuperate again, champion newspapers. But I think other media houses should, should, do so, should do so. Apart from media houses, we on our part as LUJ, we will follow so We will follow you because this, this is just a, a, a pointer now that we need to emulate, I mean, to immortalize, sorry, to immortalize our heroes, those who lost their lives in the course of duties. We have a number of them. If I start mentioning them, we won't, we won't live here today. Mm -hmm. So I think we should metalize them because these are heroes. They were either assassinated, they were either harassed. Both those harassed, those assassinated, we will metalize them, as you have said. And that is a very good initiative that we have to, we have to work upon, work upon and at the LUJ level. It's a pity, as I said, that all this is happened. Uh, well, thank you. We implore the government of perpetrators of those bastards that said earlier on the person was brought to book. They should, if, if, if not, the, the, the thing, the, if not, it, such bastards will continue. We want them to bring the person to book. They, are not, they, they cannot be let free like that. Those killings cannot be swept under the carpet. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Adele Ajayi, NUJ Chairman, Lagos Chapter. Thank you for your time. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.